We are in Chugwater, Wyoming. This is a missile alert facility or a MAF that has been shut down. We kind of pulled it up on the map here and drove to it. It's right off the highway, which is right over there. This was decommissioned between about 2002 and 2005. Used to be a, uh, what this is, is this center controls 10 remote locations that are scattered out there somewhere, uh, which I think I can see one right over through there because there's a bunch of pole light poles that are in a square formation. That usually shows that there's a site there. So anyway, um, yeah, this was uh, recently pretty much uh, decommissioned not too uh, long ago. Uh, new fence back here, which is kind of unique. Looks like they're doing some additions or something here. Uh, but anyway, uh, this, this location controls 10 sites uh, that are remotely uh, stationed within about three to five miles of this location. And even if this location gets destroyed, then another location can control what it does, what it launches. Okay, and that's a water pit over there. Usually I have remote water pits like that so they can run generators and stuff off of them. And or run the generators to keep and use that water to keep it cool. There's a path that goes down through there. We'll make it back around through here. There are some massive ant hills here too. Look at this. I mean, these things are massive. All right. Make our way back. Uh, typically, uh, there's two people on alert at all times down about 40 feet in the ground in these units. Um, they have to go through several security procedures before they can even get in the elevator to go down. Uh, looks like those are ventilators for book down below. They help protect the uh, air system down below. If a burst or something hits up top, then those will shut down and it, or shut and they. Uh, go into a uh, mode where uh, they use their own air at that point. I kind of watch where I'm walking here. I guess rattlesnakes are pretty nasty here. Usually you don't get this close to these. Usually there's an even a bigger fence that's around it that doesn't let you even get into the, these places. So coming right up to these gates is pretty rare. I have no idea what these areas are around here. It's either, yeah, yeah, that's, it's, I was going to say it's either that or they usually have these things out here that if they do any adjustments to the missile, they have to use some kind of azimuth thing to realign it. And I don't know if that's what that is or that's what that is. But, no, not completely. That's it.
and we made it to one of the paired up missile launch facility places right here where the actual missile is launched. What they did is the, the government came in and uh, literally blew the tops off of where they get launched out of the ground right there. As you can see there's fairly new gravel right there. But this is one of the spots. This is Q5. So this was actually controlled by the facility we were at just a moment ago. Can't see much, but there was a lot going on here.